Whoa. What has two thumbs, the memory of a disabled goldfish, rude, and a completely broken computer? This guy, wait, where did my thumbs go? This is the computer we're talking about. It has an eight core CPU, a 3060 Ti, and 32 gigabytes of memory. It's basically one tier above the most average computer on Steam's hardware survey. You may even have a similar system yourself, but this applies to everyone and all systems. So let me show you the problem. Look at that. This, the computer is completely unusable. There is no recovering from what happened here. Now I was smart enough to clone the drive immediately beforehand, and it's likely that the hardware is completely fine. But if you haven't backed up in a while, losing important documents and precious memories can be far more costly than this entire system. So what lies led me here? And what do you need to do to make sure that you don't end up in exactly the same situation? Let me explain. Are you tired of overpaying for your favorite games and essential software? Then you need to check out whokeys.com. In fact, let me show you the benefits and how you could save. There's over a hundred games for you to browse for cheap. You can save every month on your Office subscription, even fixing the Windows watermark, ruining your game capture and limiting your Windows customization. So let's get a Windows key. I especially like that you can use PayPal for easy, secure checkout. And using coupon code TL25 gets you 25% off these already low prices. All you need to do is paste your key to become fully activated. And TechLens subscribers like the fast key delivery and peace of mind that I use the service personally. So what are you waiting for? Start saving money and visit the Hookie sponsor link below. Luna, hey, you're cute. I wasn't even planning on making this video, but we're here now with a broken system. So how did we get here? Whether you have a budget king or a high-end beast, optimizing your system for performance is pretty essential. What, you're just gonna spend thousands on a computer and only get 80% of the performance you paid for? Or you just want to make your system last a little bit longer? squeeze out a few more years before you upgrade. And that was me, in that situation as well. I wanted to see the impact of optimizing a popular relatable system on Steam versus spending money on upgrading hardware. Essentially, can we get a similar performance uplift for free by optimizing? And how much more performance can you expect to get? Which sounds like a great high impact question to answer. So I went down the rabbit hole of PC optimizations, focusing on gaming and performance. 2.2 million, 1.4 million. Damn, that's a lot of people that could be affected. Let's take a look at a couple videos. No way. No, please don't tell me people actually did that. Yes, yes they did. It was at this point that I realized the overwhelming majority of these videos contained advice that was either going to break your operating system or just could be completely useless. Even the videos that didn't have system wrecking advice had terrible and useless suggestions sandwiched between nuggets of, yeah, that actually makes sense. So like the millions before me, I started optimizing my system exactly as they described. And it didn't take long for me to, well, let me show you. Whoa, that wasn't good. The advice I just followed completely broke my Windows install. There is no recovering from this. I suspect it was a bad registry hack, but it could also be a service that got destroyed or something else. I honestly don't really care about the specific problem with that machine because there's a much bigger issue than any one person's system. The problem that people are running into is that they are following advice that, as far as I can tell, hasn't actually been properly tested and even worse, fail to give proper guidance on making sure your system is recoverable after something goes wrong. And this problem is getting worse. Many of the videos have positive comments on them. Many people say that they saw a performance uplift, which is good for them. But honestly, exacerbates the problem that everybody else has, as this can massively depend on your setup, because for others, they end up in blue sad face land, like me. That's not to say all of the videos were bad though. One of the best videos I followed was from Corvitech. It's honestly quite good. But even this, one of the best optimization videos will take you most of a day to complete, states that some of the changes likely won't do anything. So why change them then? Why even include them? And tells you to disable services that break Oculus VR. So clearly people are interested in this, but are getting some seriously mixed results from two, 
And I think this, what do we call it? Carelessness, recklessness from the creators is because this is a million dollar question. No, seriously, the AdSense alone relating to this question is in the millions of dollars, affecting a population larger than many entire countries. But nearly everyone is unknowingly and blindly following a likely bad video, telling them to change hundreds of settings with minimal understanding of what those settings do. And yes, there are advanced tweaks that you can do and they can make an impact in the right situation, but they can also break many things you need in other situations, many other situations. So what is the real answer to this million dollar question of optimizing your system for performance? Because if you can and it's free, you'd have to be pretty stupid not to. So I'm gonna show you the three most important things that you should do to optimize any PC risk-free. But first, let's help out everyone that destroyed their system through bad advice, like I did. And as a bonus, this is also an excellent tip if you're the tech support for your loved and tolerated ones. So if it is too late for you, how do you at least get access to your data? Because for many, that is the expensive question. Luckily, that's probably going to be quite simple, as long as you don't have drive encryption enabled. All we need to do is take the drive out of the machine there we go, and stick it in an external enclosure. I'll link every option I recommend below. Then when you plug it into another Windows system, you actually won't be able to do or open or copy anything. So you'll need to run the take ownership script in the description below. Because the system you are doing this on isn't the same user account that's on the drive, you need to essentially give yourself permission to access the files. See, now you understand what it's doing and it took like seven seconds to explain it, which is what these videos should have done. But once the script is complete, you can drag and back up your files. I genuinely hope this saves at least one person. But how do we save everybody else? There's only a few settings that almost everyone should change to increase performance. But the real answer to optimizing your operating system without changing things that can do damage is actually really simple. It's called reducing bloat. Every single thing your computer does occupies resources. Another way to explain that is if your computer is busy with something else, it won't be able to dedicate its maximum potential to what you care about. Even things you don't know it's doing can limit its performance. So really simply, if you can reduce the amount of unnecessary tasks it has to do, it can allocate more resources to the game you're playing or even just increase responsiveness system-wide. So my advice for most people, honestly, reinstall Windows, especially if you didn't do a fresh install when upgrading a Windows version or haven't in a few years. It's going to be significantly easier, take significantly less time than any optimization guide you follow, and will likely have a much bigger impact to your performance. I personally do this on all of my systems about every 18 months to clear out the bloat. You don't even need a new Windows key and instructions on that will be linked below. Then no matter who you are, you want to make sure that you have done what I consider to be the three most important things to do within Windows. Stop Microsoft spying on you and sending back as much of your data as possible. Disable every startup app that doesn't 100% need to run every single time you boot your system and set up a custom power plan and sleep settings. Even on my main gaming PC, which is firmly in mid to high end range, we got about a 5% improvement in some games. So great for high end hardware and likely even better if you have lower specs. And almost everything else you might want to do, like enable XMP, resizable bar, all of those things are well covered in this LTT video, which I'll link top right. But there is one thing that you should do that LTT didn't mention, that none of these videos mention, and it will have the single biggest impact to your gaming performance. Well, you can check out this video if you want to learn more about how a single click can get you a bigger performance gain than any optimization. And the best part is I tested everything and this is the proof it actually works with detailed explanations of everything you're changing. And you can check that out by clicking here. Otherwise guys, share, like, subscribe. They are always appreciated and I hope you have an amazing day.